Hello guys, in the earlier video we had discussed so many features of Perl. So actually we are getting so many useful features in Perl. Now the question may come why Perl is extensively used in VLSI IDA industries. Correct. We are basically interested in using Perl in especially in VLSI IDA industry. Correct. So why? Frankly speaking, the engineers who work in EDA VLSI industry and from electronics background are not good in programming. And the requirement for creating flow automation etc. is served by Perl. That is well served by Perl. And Perl is very easy to learn. So that's why Perl is used in VLSI ID industry widely. So we have had so many discussion on Perl. Let's get started with a simple program. Correct. So here I shall be showing on Linux system. In Linux system, Perl is already installed by default. Let's look into the system. So what you are seeing, that is my system. Here I have been uh, showing you in Ubuntu. So here the terminal is opened. And in the terminal, if I write, if I type which Perl. So it is giving, Perl has been installed in user bin location. So that part I am going to use. And for writing the program, I will be using GVM editor. That is there, this one. So, let's write a simple program first, then I will discuss. Hash ban user bin Perl. So, the, in the first line, what I am writing, the location of the Perl, where the Perl is located. Just I am writing that one. First, in the first, I am uh, writing hash, then after that exclamation. And then after that, print getting so first line that is not the statement for the program the second line in the second line I am trying to print something so what I am trying to print getting started with Perl so in the terminal I am seeing the file is there so I am changing the mode of the file to 7 double file then I will be running that file here it is giving that the print statement which I have written in the file. Correct. So in this way I will be writing in a GVIM file and after that I will be executing that in a terminal. Okay.